we're just putting about two litres of cream into the churn here. Uh, whooping cream. We buy all our cream in from a local dairy. Most milk nowadays is all um, skimmed or semi-skimmed. And they're taking off a certain percentage of cream. Um, so cream's really a byproduct for this farm. So we buy the cream from them. So I'm just about to start and churn here. Uh, turn on the handle. And the churn spins around about three times to every turn of the handle. So it's going quite fast. And it'll take about five minutes to churn this butter. Butter making was very traditional. Everybody um, made their own butter in small farms right in Northern Ireland years and years ago. It was nearly always women's work or children's work to turn the butter. Uh, usually on the day before market day in the local town, so they could sell the butter the next day. Well, the beauty of this little churn here is I can take the lid off. And you can have a look inside as I. What's that cream up? Now there's what's happening in there. There's a fixed paddle in there and the cream's just been scooped off the side and thrown back into the centre again. And at this stage the cream's just thickening up, just like what you would use maybe to put on a cake. Beginning to get a little bit heavier and, and, and uh, stiffer to to turn. And it's begin to change colour. It's begin to get a little bit more yellow. Then all of a sudden, the buttermilk will start to separate from the, the butter. And that's our butter made. Now we just take this apart. We take this paddle out. And we're ready to lift this churn off and I'm going to strain this buttermilk off. At this stage, uh, we still have a little bit of buttermilk left there in the bottom of the bowl. Um, we need to get rid of all the buttermilk. Well, the buttermilk will go sour within a few days and that will give the butter a bad taste. These are quite traditional tools to use. Now we just mash that butter around. As you can see, the, the, the water is quite white and milky at the moment. But when we're finished, it'll be nice and clear. Now uh, we have our butter washed. The uh, water is all nice and clear. Um, we're ready to add some salt. We need the salt for two reasons. We need to give it a little bit of taste and a little bit of flavour. And the salt also acts as a preservative as well. Uh, it's just a matter of mixing that in. Well mixed in. Take a dollop of butter on our pots like this. Uh, Pat out that excess water that we washed it with. And we just form it on the pots as we go, using the wooden pots. And we just start off here at the front and we roll it up like a Swiss roll. Just like that. And when we are making our butter every day, we put about 24 of those onto a tray, pop them into the fridge, uh, wrap them up in greaseproof paper and brown paper in a label and they're ready for sale.